Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Today is Sunday, August 28th and I'm so excited to be stamping with you tonight. Um, I hope you can't hear that whining sound. <laughs> I think our faucet just got turned on outside and it's making funny noises so I hope that isn't too annoying. Hi Linda, hi Wendy, welcome. Thank you for joining me tonight. I am going to get myself up on the screen so I can see your comments better. Jenny, Cheryl, welcome. Ashley. Okay. How's your Sunday going? Did you have a good weekend? I think all of you know that um, things are crazy, crazy busy here in Menasha, Wisconsin. Oh my gosh. Wedding preparations are well underway. We have um, less than a week before Haley's wedding next Saturday, August 3rd. Yeah, so I um, I painted a palette. We took a wooden palette and painted it, and Haley's stenciling the schedule for the, um, the day on there. It's super, super cute. And then I started building a donut wall and we need to wait to go to the bakery tomorrow to see how big the donuts are going to be before I drill holes for all the dowels. But we're going to stencil on that too. And I will be sharing so many pictures um, on my Facebook and probably on um, my blog as well. And I see Haley just popped in. Yay! Oh, I'm sorry. July 28th. I said it was August 28th. It's July 28th. I have August on the brain because August 3rd is the big day. So thank you, Linda. <laughs> I messed that up. It's July 28th and the wedding is August 3rd. So we're super excited. Today we went shopping and um, she bought some clothes for her honeymoon. Her and her fiance are going on a Southern Caribbean cruise with Royal Caribbean and they're leaving like super early Sunday morning. So that's gonna be kind of crazy, but um, we're really excited. There's a lot of things that need to be done yet, and Haley might be getting just a tad bit nervous, but I'm like, mm, we're gonna be fine. We also, I have a dress hanging over here in my office. Um, one of the grandkids, she's a flower girl. I need to hem her dress and pull her straps up because they're a little too long, so I've got that to do. <laughs> yeah, it's getting real. It's getting very, very real. I'm super excited for the wedding. I know it's going to go off without a hitch. Um, yeah, Linda just said, what's the weather report for next weekend? Well, Linda, right now it's calling for rain on Saturday, but usually that moves on down the line and it might be Sunday or Monday by the time we get later in the week that the rain is going to hit us. And we have our fingers crossed because this is an outdoor wedding. However, we do have the option to move inside, so um, we hope we don't have to because it's going to kind of change everything, right? But we're getting excited. Everything's, um, everything's going off without a hitch so far, so we're pretty happy about that. On Friday, we are all going to meet at the nail salon and get our... <laughs> Linda says, I think your mom should wear a small camera on her so we can watch from the front row. <laughs> Um, we are going to get our nails and toes done on Friday and then um, we're going to head out to the wedding venue to decorate. Then we have the rehearsal Friday night and Saturday morning we're all meeting at somebody's house and we're going to start getting ready for the wedding. Lots of things going on there. I'm providing lunch, so I need to get that together and figure it out, too, for all the girls. I want everybody to make sure they eat, right, before the wedding. Yeah. So, I have to share this with you. Look at this stinking, adorable t-shirt. Can you read what it says? A queen was born in July. Happy birthday to me. Is this not adorable? This was sent to me by um, one of my followers, Donna Dress. I think I said your name right, Donna. This is just the sweetest thing, and thank you so much. I absolutely love this t-shirt, and I will wear it constantly. It is just adorable, so thank you very much, Donna. I have some other cards to share with you. Oh, actually, I've got quite a few. Holy cow. Um, mm, oh, I have to look at this one. Trudy, 
This is from Trudy Barker. And look at that rainbow. Do you guys remember the set? We had this a couple mini catalogs ago. And um, she won the prize. <laughs> she won a prize last week. So she's sending me a thank you card. And isn't that just the most precious card? Thank you so much, Trudy. And then I received several cards from Sharon Jones. And she says inside to my special friend, Kelly, Sharon, you are just a doll. Thank you so much. This is beautiful. And then, oh, this was the paper pumpkin kit. And is this not adorable, right? This was our July kit on my mind. And I loved that kit. Like it took me all of 20 minutes to come up with two alternate card ideas and the little gift box that I made. That was a super easy card or kit to create with. Here's another one from Sharon. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, very, very pretty. And we have one more from Sharon. I love this polka dot card base. Very cool. Sharon, thank you. You just like made my whole week with these cards. They're beautiful. And then I have, oops, hang on. Ooh, I missed something in here. Oh, this is one of my VIPs. So I have a VIP technique club. I shouldn't call it VIP. I have an online technique club. And this one is from Sue Knaus. And Sue is cashing in her $30 credit that she gets. When you um, make a minimum $25 purchase from me every month for six months in a row, you get a $30 product credit. And Sue has completed that now. And she is... Um, telling me what she would like for her $30 credit. This is the card that Sue sent along, and this is that new Daisy Punch, the smaller one. Isn't that pretty? And the birch background. Oh, my, my. Hi, Mom. My mom's on here, too. So I've got mom and daughter watching me tonight. Holy cow, that's a lot of pressure. <laughs> I also got another VIP, or I should say online technique club, um rewards form from Pat Perrin. So Pat, just if you're watching, I did get yours also. Those items will be ordered and shipped out to you around the end of the month. So I just want you to know that. And here we have, oh, this is a card from Stampin' Up. Isn't that cute? So... It says, congratulations on achieving your 800,000 in career sales milestone, which is incredible. We're so impressed with your commitment, loyalty, and the example you are sharing what you love. Stampin' Up! is lucky to have you. And this is a card from Stampin' Up! So thank you, Stampin' Up! Um, it's kind of funny, you guys. So remember last week we had all the storms last weekend? I got an email from Stampin' Up! on Monday morning saying, hey... Kelly, I hope everything's all right there. Um, I was watching your video from the weekend and we heard that there were some storms and some storm damage in the area. Letting me know that if I had any damage or if I had any of my team members that had damage and needed replacements on product that Stampin' Up! is actually going to give out a free starter kit to anybody who had storm damage to their stamping supplies and I actually did have a team member that lives just a few miles from me that her house the window was blown out in her stamp room and it like threw everything all around she lost so much designer series paper so I passed that message on her at first I was a little like oh my goodness stamp it up is watching my videos <laughs> like Arr! but then I was like oh that's cool um, and she's going to get in touch with them and get some of her stuff replaced that was ruined in the storm. And I'm telling you that because my company is the best. Like, they are the best. And it was just so generous of them to offer to do that. So, and then, let's see, I've got a card here from Pat Perrin. And um, look at this pretty card. Again, with the da daisy, this is the bigger daisy punch. This is one of our note cards and envelopes. Such a pretty design. Hang on, I just lost something here. And I've got your note here. She's wishing me a happy belated birthday and anniversary. Yay, she just celebrated 49 years of marriage. She also says, I pray your daughter has a beautiful day for her wedding on August 3rd. 
and her own granddaughter is getting married on August 10th. So that's just so sweet, isn't it? Beautiful, beautiful card. Thank you so much, Pat. And one more card that just came in the mail today. This is from Shannon West. She is my DDM at Stampin' Up. And isn't this cute? These are all popped up on dimensionals, just little squares. And Shannon says, another month, another big accomplish accomplishment. Congrats, Kelly, on your 800,000 K. Woot, woot, you really do make my head spin with all your awesomeness. So thank you, Shannon West. Shannon is the demonstrator. I always try to remember, what does that stand for? Demonstrator Development Manager for my region. So very cool cards. I got a lot of mail this week. That's always fun, right? Okay. Um, let's see. Yeah, Jenny says Shannon is so sweet. She really is very sweet. So we have some winners from last week. I'm excited to share that with you. Um, first of all, there are three ways you can win. One is by leaving a comment. Everybody gets entered in a drawing to win cool products. Number two is sharing my video. So don't forget to do that. You can click on the share button right now. And I'm sorry if I'm a little distracted, but you ever know how you have a hair that's like hanging from your shirt and it's touching you and it's tickling me? <laughs> so I'm like, where is that? What is tickling me? I think I got it. Sorry. Um, anyways, winner. I got some of these twinkle adhesive back sequins. These are so cute and fun to use. Cindy Benward of Coos Bay, Oregon, you are the winner for your comment. So congratulations and thank you everybody who leaves comments. That really does help me um, with the analytics and Facebook and uh, it's, it's all, it's a whole thing. <laughs> so next for sharing the video, I have the beads and baubles embossing folder. This is going to go out to Debbie Foster of Bismarck, Arkansas. Debbie, congratulations and thank you all for sharing. I just really appreciate it. And the last drawing I have tonight is for all the orders that came in in the last week. And we've got this exclusive host stamp set called Time for Tags. Now, let me find this matches up with the Timeless Label Punch. So all of these can be punched out with this punch. So that's pretty cool. My winner is Wendy Becks from Greenville, Wisconsin. So congratulations, Wendy, Debbie, and Cindy. These will all be going out in the mail to you either Monday or Tuesday. I have promised myself to Haley tomorrow to go get the last things that we need to get taken care of. We need some little chalkboard signs on stakes to put in the flower pots for the wedding and what else I don't have any shoes yet I don't have any jewelry um, I need to take my dress back to Macy's where I got it and see if I can exchange it for a smaller size maybe I'm gonna try that on again and see what I decide to do there but my dress is kind of big now great problem to have right and as far as Weight loss, I haven't lost any any more weight. I'm still like 36, 37 pounds down from when I started in February. I'm feeling fantastic, um, but I have been kind of going out to lunch. And like today we had Sunday fun day and everybody came over and, you know, we had corn on the cob and I ate some chips and salsa and yeah, so I've been kind of cheating, but I've been having a good time. So. Um, let me put that punch back. All right. Um, hang on one second. I forgot to get my thing off the printer. Here we go. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh, my thing didn't print. Nope, I don't have it. I don't know what it is. Okay. Next, I want to tell you about... Oh, here it is. I did print. Thank you guys so much. Thank you so much. Everybody's kind of making comments that I look fantastic. Um, I actually feel like a million bucks. I can't even tell you. Um, when I was carrying that extra weight, I just felt so puffy and like I could explode at any moment. Like like a blowfish. It was, it was a terrible feeling for me. I've never had that much extra weight. 
So um, it was a really uncomfortable feeling. And yeah, it's been a, a, it's been a lot of work to lose the weight, but I think it's one of the best things that I've done in a very long time. So I'm really glad that I um, stuck to it and lost the weight. I'd still like to lose a few more pounds. My husband is telling me, no, enough now. You've lost enough weight. But I'm like, nah, it's, there's still some more weight that could come off. Uh, Marcia just asked, what weight loss program are you using? I'm doing the Optavia plan. It's O-P-T-A-V-I-A. And if you would like information on that, I have a personal coach that I work with. And um, I can get you connected with her. It's We do a Zoom conference call like once a week. And we talk about where I'm at and what I'm doing and, and um, how things are going. And it's really nice. Um, the program is online and it's, well, we'll, you can get information from her. I'm not going to do her job. She, she, she does it way better than I do. But anyways, if you'd like information, just private message me and I'll be happy to hook you up with Bev. She's super wonderful and I'm um, very motivating. I really enjoy her. Okay. Next. Oh, you guys, I forgot to hit the do not disturb on my phone. Ugh. So I'm just reading over my notes here and it says, do not disturb on phone. And I didn't do that. I do have my phone plugged in. So if somebody calls me tonight, it will interrupt my Facebook live, but just hang with me because I will quickly tell it to go away and we'll be back in business. Um, oh, Diane says, can you tell me the name of what you want again? If you're looking for the name of my, um, program that I'm doing. It's Optavia. O-P-T-A-V-I-A. -A. Okay. Um, la, 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 la. Oh, we did some other fun stuff for the, sh um, for the wedding. We did a table seating chart. So Haley has, she had this big uh, turquoise colored frame with chicken wire in it. And we painted it gold. And then we took the seating the seating chart so it's like here's table one are going to be these people in table two and table three and we cut them in various sizes and widths and I use some Stampin' Up! dies I use the delicate lace edgelets to do some fancy stuff on them and I'll make sure that I take pictures to show you guys um, so we made that oh and I got all the jars frosted I sprayed them with some frosted paint and I tied um, um, twine around them so lots of pictures. Don't worry. I'll share lots of pictures with you. Okay. Remember, if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be your demonstrator. I can send you a catalog if you'd like to have the hard copy. They're amazing. But when you email me at kelly at a stamp above.com to request a catalog, please make sure that you include your address. I have so many people that email me and say, Hey, I'd like to have a catalog, but they don't give me their address. So then that's time that I have to take to get back to them and say, can I have your address and then wait for it. And I usually only go to the post office once or twice a week. So you may miss that time frame and I don't want anybody to have to wait too long. So make sure if you want a catalog, you're giving me your address so I know where to send it to. And then I will email you back and say, hey, it's in the mail. Um, so please include that address. And let's see. Um, oh, I wanted to tell people. There's been some people that have been having trouble using the host code that I provide every month. And I've gotten several emails saying, hey, I was trying to put in an order, but the host code wouldn't work. First of all, I'm not really sure what's going on there because it, it's still active and it should work. But if that happens to you, just go ahead and order without it. It's okay. Um, I can call Stampin' Up! and get your order assigned to that host code. So... Um, don't worry about it. Just go ahead and put your order in. And Patricia says she's going to be signing up as a frequent shopping, shopper demonstrator. That's awesome. I think I had 10 people that have taken advantage of that um, discount shopper promotion that's going on right now last week. So extra, extra for $99, you get to choose $155 worth of product of your choice. You can be a discount shopper. You get a 20% discount on everything that you order in the future. It's a win-win. There's no strings attached. You don't have to sell anything. You can make a business out of it if you want, but you can just be a discount shopper if you want also. And I shouldn't say just because 
most of the people on my team are discount shoppers and I love you all. So there's a lot of benefits to being on my team and most people absolutely love it. So, okay. Um, Vicki says, you are so lucky, really hard to get people. Oh, well, yeah, I understand that, but um, it's a good deal and people realize a good deal, right? The other thing that is almost over on Wednesday, this ends, and this is bonus days. For every $50 that you order, you're gonna get a bonus day coupon worth $5 to spend in the month of August. So don't miss out on a $5 coupon. I mean, everybody could use an extra $5 in their pocket, right? I think so. <laughs> I know I can. Uh, update on Steve. I told you guys that he has a, a stress fracture in his knee, right? And he is going to be getting a knee replacement on August 15th. So, yeah. Um, we don't know exactly what that's going to look like, but we have been through it before. Last time it didn't go so well. We're hoping for a lot better um, circumstances this time. So um, I don't know exactly what my month of August is going to look like once he has that surgery, but we should be able to stay on track. I do want to let you guys know that next Sunday, which is August 4th, I will not be live and I will not be doing a Facebook Live not live for that night. I just don't see that I'm going to have time with all this stuff that has to be done for the wedding yet, but I will be back the following week with all kinds of stories, I hope. Yeah, so Steve will take all of your prayers and well wishes that um, his knee replacement goes well because ugh, it's been terrible. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I need to put this someplace where I won't lose it. I ran across something that I want to share with you guys. It is so stinking adorable before we start stamping. So let me, I'm going to turn my camera around. Right. Mary says the wedding comes first and it does. And, oh, if anybody, now August 15th, Steve is having his surgery. If anybody wants to send a card to him, he would love it. My address is 738 D. Pier Street, D-E-P-E-R-E -E -E Street, Menasha, Wisconsin, 54952. And I will post that on my page when we're done here tonight. What are you guys drinking? I am very thirsty. I am drinking my lemonade, my strawberry lemonade, calorie, what is it called? Calorie booster or something like that. I don't know, but I love it. Mm. And that's what I'm drinking. Okay, I'm going to turn my phone around so I can show you this really cool thing that I found. Um, okay, close your eyes if you get motion sickness. I don't want anybody, where's my thing to turn it around? Here it is. I don't want anybody throwing up while we're stamping. <laughs> All right, um, hang on just a second. I've got to unmirror my screen. There we go. Get my cord out of the way. And move this over just a little bit. Okay, you guys, I think I'm ready. Okay, I found this in a drawer when I was searching for Haley's um, birth certificate so she could get her marriage license. <laughs> Which I did not find and had to go to the courthouse and buy a new one. Yeah, so that's the way it goes, right? But um, this is a book. It's kind of tall. Oh, I want to make sure I get it all in here. This is a book that I made for her graduating 8th grade class. So Haley went to a tiny little parochial school. And um, it goes from preschool through 8th grade. And everybody was graduating that year, and I made everyone in her class one of these. Now, the ones for the boys didn't have flowers on them. They looked different. But I took pictures throughout the years of each kid and put it in here, and I just wanted to share this with you. This is just some um, chipboard that I covered with some designer series paper, and then the inside has little pockets, and it's covered with cardstock. And these are her friends. And I, I had the funnest time looking through this because look at, there I am. Look how long my hair was. I was in class reading a book. Um, Janine is on here now. Her son went to the same school and was in the same class with Haley. So some of these pictures might have Josh in it too. But 
all of these have little pullouts. And, oh, look, there's stuff on the back, too. So I've got pictures on both sides here in all of these little pockets. Super, super cute. And I found this in, in my my drawer at my nightstand. Oh, look, they were doing funny hair or something. Oh, this one looks like... Oh, there's two of them in here. Oh, look at that. We did scrapbooking for art class one day. Yay! That was fun. Oh, and that's the diorama. I remember all of these things. So isn't this just precious? Yeah, and all these are his little pockets. Cute, right? Yep, there's Haley. Pajama day. Basketball. Oh, I think this one goes right in here. So yeah, this is eighth grade graduation. There's the principal and one of her teachers. Oh, look at how little she was. Yay! There's the whole class. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven kids at that point in that grade. Yeah, it was really, really tiny. But there we go. And then there's a little poem back here. And then their eighth grade teacher signed and wrote a personal message to each one of the students. Isn't that just the neatest thing? Yeah. So super fun. And I just thought I'd share that with you guys. Um, this is super easy to make. It's nothing more than chipboard covered and then some little pockets is all it is. There's a little bit of an accordion thing going on here for the to connect these pockets to. You can see it right here. Yeah, pretty neat, right? What a great keepsake. And when she looked at it, she came in my office and saw it and she's like, can I look at this? I'm like, yeah, don't you remember this? I gave this to you in eighth grade. And she just thought it was the coolest thing ever. So I said, I'll let you have it as soon as I show it to everybody on Sunday night. Yeah, super, super cute. Um, Linda's asking if the cards can to Steve can be a little edgy and humorous. Yeah, he's a pretty edgy guy, Linda. <laughs> There's not really anything you're going to say to shock him. So <laughs> he would absolutely love that. All right. I think what I'm going to do, first what I'm going to do is I'm going to do what I promised to show you guys. Now, I had, um, if you remember, we had some real Walrus Be Friends cards that I made last week, right? Super, super cute. And I had two pieces of... Um, cardstock that I made on Friday. These are watercolor papers. This is a heat emboss resist technique. So I made these for my blog hop on Friday for the Totally Technique blog hop. And I said that I would do something. Well, I made these. And then I, 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 how do I say this? Like I did different colors. I said I'd do something with one of these for Facebook Live tonight. And I am going to pick this one and I decided to make a card with it. So again, I'm going to be using the Wheel Walrus Be Friends. This is just stinking adorable, obviously. I mean, who isn't going to smile at that card, right? It is hysterical. And I took the Happy Birthday out of the Perennial Birthday. This is one of my favorite greeting sets for birthdays. I just love this big birthday stamp and that's kind of what I was looking for. So I'm gonna set those over there and get out all my little goodies here. Now, I'm gonna have to go to a different screen because I didn't actually make this card yet. I was a little pressed for time this weekend. So, we're gonna wing it. <laughs> yeah, I have all my pieces here. Hang on just a second while I get these out. Here we go. So, I am starting with a card base that is gorgeous great. This is eight and a half by five and a half. We're just gonna fold it in half and burnish that edge. And then I have a layer of um, granny apple green. And I think, I didn't write these measurements down, but let me see here. I think the granny apple green is going to be Four, let's measure it. I don't want to give you bad information. Yep, four by five and a quarter. Okay, good, I was right. And then this was our watercolor paper layer that I have 
clear embossed and then spritzed with the pigment sprinkles. Okay, and there's lots of videos on my blog, which you'll find right here, using these pigment sprinkles, lots of cool techniques and um, some good tips. So this is five by three and three quarters. And what we're gonna do here is I am going to attach, oh, hang on. Oh, this is for the inside, four by five and a quarter. And then remember when I was making all of these, let me grab them because I've got them all right here. All of these different samples with the pigment sprinkles. I also did a couple strips to go on the inside of my card because I just thought that that would be a nice embellishment for the inside. So that's the first thing we're gonna do here. We're gonna take our gorgeous grape and our happy birthday from the perennial birthday set. Any birthday stamp will work. I just wanted something nice and big. And I'm going to stamp my happy birthday right there. And then I'm going to put this right at the bottom because it's going to kind of go along with the front of our card and it's going to be really cool. There we go. And I left just a tiny little strip of that white down there. Okay. And got my scissors. Oh, I missed what Diane said, but I do go back through Diane and read the comments, but Gina's saying, go for it, Diane. He will treasure it. Not sure who's treasuring something, but I love that. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to treasure something? Here we go with this. And isn't that just super, super vibrant? I love these pigment sprinkles. They're just so pretty. So here goes the inside of our card. Whoops, I got that kind of crooked. There we go. Pretty, right? All right, let's get this front done. So I've got some half inch strips here and I decided to do a couple little banners. So I'm gonna stamp, it's your birthday and ready or not. And let's see if I can do that right down here. Oh, pretty good. All right. Then we're going to cut this. And then I'm going to put this up here so I can make sure that I cut this other one straight on the left-hand side here. Yeah, because I'm not really good at that. I, I usually get it crooked, so that's just a good way to do it. And I'm going to cut that off a little bit. We're going to flag the ends on both of these little banners. And did I have a, oh, I've got a bigger piece too that I forgot to tell you about. Don't forget that all of these dimensions are shown on my blog. Usually by Monday morning I have all of these projects posted with the dimensions and shopping lists to make it easy for you if you want to purchase anything. And don't forget that you will all... Oh, I wanted to share this with you. This did not... Oh, shoot. Yeah. Oh, that one doesn't have glue on it. This didn't emboss very well here. You can see that... Um, I don't think I got much embossing powder on it. So I thought, oh, that doesn't look very good up there in that corner. So I'm just going to cover it up with the banner, right? Why not? Yeah. Love it. Okay. Then I'm going to take this one. This says ready or not. And then this one says it's your birthday. So I just did two little banners up here at the top. Then I have this piece of Whisper White. And this is one inch by three and three quarters. And I'm going to glue this on right down here. Make sure I get it straight. There we go. Sticking over a little bit down here. Let's trim that off. All right. And then I've got some of our textured weave ribbon. This is our granny apple green. And I'm going to add a little bit of this to this white panel. Now, it's kind of different when you start out with a background like this and then go, hmm, what am I going to do with this? Well, this is what I came up with, and I'm pretty, I think I'm going to be pretty happy with it. 
This is the first time I'm making the card, but I did kind of set it all together before I came on here because, well, I'm just not that good. <laughs> Let's be real. Hmm. Oh, and I see that. Mary says she's in Eagle River. Woohoo! That's a beautiful area in northern Wisconsin. Eagle River is just gorgeous. Good for you, Mary. And I just took and tied a little bit of that ribbon right around there. Now we're going to add it to our granny apple green layer. This is going to make it pop. And then that purple background is going to make it just spectacular. Here we go. All right, you guys, what do you think? Look at that. Ready or not, it's your birthday. Happy birthday. Isn't that just pretty? So now I've got like three cards here with the walruses. Aren't they just sweet? So this is actually the same background on this card as I did on here. It's just that I added gorgeous grape pigment sprinkles to this one, which made it a lot darker. So it's Gorgeous Grape, Granny Apple Green, and Bermuda Bay. And this one was just Granny Apple Green and Bermuda Bay. Super, super cute, right? Yeah. Okay. We're going to move on to the next card. Let me get this put away. All right. A bunch of cards to show you because I actually host a swap every month that centers around a bundle a bundle of products whether it's like a whole suite whoops I better leave these up here or just um, a stamp set and a matching punch or a stamp set and framelits but I host a bundle swap every month and this month we used the dino, where's my stamp set? I don't remember what it's called. The dinosaur one. Meh. All right. Hang on. I'm getting everything out there. Oh, I don't have the stamp set here. I wonder what I did with it. Uh, all kinds of goodies in here. Holy cow. What's that? Nobody knows. Okay. Let me find the stamp set. Oh, it's right here. It's right here on my shelf. Dino Days. Okay? We have Dino Days, and I have shown you cards made with this set before. Let me find my designer series paper, because that's really quite adorable. Here it is. Look at that. Designer series paper. There's framelits that go with this. Super, super pretty. And... Uh, here comes our cardstock. So, oh, I thought I wrote up dimensions for this, but I guess I didn't. It's okay. It's easy to figure out, right? Nan says she loves the walrus cards. She can't wait to try the background technique. It's really, really fun. Really fun. All right, so we have a piece of... Mango Melody, five and a half by eight and a half. And I'm just going to score that and fold it in half. This is a super, super easy card to make. I'm going to use the, I think this is called Layered Leaves Embossing Folder. So usually I do this stuff ahead of time, but I did not. So... Sorry for all the noise, but I'm getting my big shout out. Here we go. I have my embossing folder. 
and I'm going to make sure that I'm putting this up far enough past the fold so that I get the leaves all the way on the front layer of my card. Usually we put another layer on the front, but I'm not going to do that. And I usually tell you to run your folder through with the seam going through first or the hinge. Every once in a while, if you have to run it through with it on the side, it's not going to hurt to do that. So don't think that you can't do it that way. Just the majority of the time you want your hinge going through first through the machine. Okay, there's our leaves. And isn't that just beautiful? Yeah, I thought it went along well with the designer series paper that I'm going to use. Okay, then I have um, a piece of the Dinos Dino Roar Designer Series paper. This is five and three quarters by two, and I'm going to put it into my banner triple punch, and I'm going to punch both ends. like this. Hang on, let me clean up my little garbage here. And we are going to put this right on the front of our card. And isn't that just stunning? The um, pretty peacock, which is the background of this paper, just really pops. And it's got the little dots of mango melody in here. This is a classic layout. You could do any number of, use any number of stamps with this because it is just a really classic layout. Now I'm gonna take my cute little dinosaur and I am going to make sure I have him inked up. This is Pretty Peacock Ink. I'm gonna stamp him right here. Then I'm gonna come in with the Mango Melody and I'm going to stamp this greeting that makes me giggle every time. It says, I love you this much. And he's holding his little chubby little short arms out. I love you this much. It's more than it looks. And I just love that greeting. I think it's just so sweet. And then we've got his, oh, whatever you call those spiny dinosaur things. <laughs> this would be a mane on a horse. But on a dinosaur, I'm not sure what it's called. But look at that. How cute is that? Super, super cute. Okay, we're going to layer this onto, oh, by the way, this is 3x3. Three three. And then I've got a piece of pool party that's 3 and a quarter by 3 and a quarter. And I'm going to put this right on there. Close this up. Close that. And I want to use some of these embellishments. These are the Dyna Roar enamel shapes. And I think that, uh, let me find my take your pick tool. I'm just going to take one of the leaves and maybe add it right down here. Maybe we can do another one right up here. These are just cute little embellishments on there. And dimensionals. Do I have these cut yet? No. We're going to pop this layer up on dimensionals because, well, why wouldn't you? It's a cool look. I, I love dimensionals. They do add a lot to our cards. Don't you think so? I think they do. So we had a whole bunch of people over today. It's Sunday fun day at our house and everybody comes over to go swimming. And gosh, in the middle of our everything, it just started pouring rain. So we all ran into the garage and sat in there for a little while and then it got beautiful and sunny and back out by the pool we went. <laughs> Isn't that funny? That's summer in Wisconsin. I'm sure it's summer every place, right? Okay, I'm not really sure why I have this um, braided linen 
thread in here, but I don't know. Should I do? I'm gonna do something with it. I'm going to tie a bow with my bow jig, or you can just tie a bow with your fingers. But I like using this because it's easy. And yeah, I'm not really sure why it's in there, but I'm gonna use it. I didn't have any plans with it. I'm just going to put a little bow right over here. Because it's cute. That's why. What do you guys think? Isn't that adorable? Yeah, I love this dinosaur. Okay, hang tight. Because I have a whole bunch of cards to show you using this set. There's some great ideas in here. And like I said, this is a classic layout. You can use any stamp set with this, but I love that banner and on here with the designer series paper. You could stamp the birds from Bird Ballad in here. You could stamp a birthday cake. Anything would work. It's a really nice classic layout. Oh, I don't know why do I have this? So weird. Who knows? Anyways. <laughs> I'm not really sure what was going on there. Okay, the rest of these cards that I'll share with you. Here's another one in Mango Melody. And can you guys see that okay? I want to make sure that it's not like glaring with all the. This is made by my friend Lori Krauss. There we go. Look at how cute it is! Oh my gosh, adorable. Then we have another one here. Oh, this is Lori's also. We each make two different designs. Oh, look. Oh, look at that. That is just the sweetest. It says, it says look who's hatched. Super, super cute. And I'm trying to figure out how to open this one. Oh, there we go. Lots of fun folds. Look at that, you guys. That is just adorable. I don't know who made these. There's no name in there. Super, super cute. Here's another one. Oh, look at this one. Ready? Oh, look how cute that is. That is adorable. Oh, this is my friend Candy Michael. And here is Sandy Carlson. She's another friend of mine. Who's this one? And Sandy Carlson. Aren't these just the cutest? Super, super cute cards using this Dino Roar Suite. Adorable. Okay. Now, we've got this. And here's the other card that we made. Here's a few more of these that I also made. If you're looking for this technique, you can go back to my blog right here and you'll find it on Friday and also on Wednesday of last week. So that would be July 26th or July 24th. I used this technique and July 17th, I believe I've used the um, pigment sprinkles. They're super, super fun, you guys. I highly recommend them. Everyone turns out different every single time. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, I think that is all I have for you tonight. Did I miss any questions that anybody had? My computer is not keeping up with the comments, so I have to constantly scroll up. <laughs> Peggy says, you're killing me with these cute cards. They're so stinking cute. I know, right? They're crazy cute. Now, don't forget. We have our bonus days that ends on Wednesday. For every $50 that you order, you get a $5 coupon. You can go right to my blog right here. In the right-hand column is an online ordering button. Just click on that and go in and place your order. You can use this host code if your order is under $150. If it's over $150, don't use the code because you'll get some benefits from Stampin' Up! and I want you to have those. You'll still get some special perks from me. I also want to let you guys know that I am behind on thank you cards. I just printed out a whole bunch of address labels for thank you cards. So if you have placed an order with me and you haven't received a thank you card yet, 
early next week at the latest I will be getting those out and I apologize travel holiday weekend and upcoming wedding have really been wreaking havoc with my schedule as you probably well know <laughs> I think I've whined about it enough um, and don't forget if you have an order around a hundred dollars this is your ticket you get to choose hundred and fifty five dollars worth of any product in the catalog that you want you can also starting August 1st order your kit with product out of the new upcoming holiday mini catalog so demonstrators and discount shoppers get to order a month ahead of time when we have a new mini catalog coming and our new mini catalog is I lost mine. Um, oh wait, maybe this is it. No, I don't know where it is, but um, my office is a disaster. But you can order out of that new mini catalog. So if you have a wish list that's around $100, you really need to get this kit because you get $55 free and it's free shipping. And you get a $10 coupon to use on your order in the next month after you order your discount shopper kit. Plus, you get 20% off your future orders. So, like, this is kind of a no-brainer. Order around $100. If that's what you have, you need to do this. Because being on my team of discount shoppers is super, super, super fun. Just saying. All right. I do not have anything else tonight. I hope you enjoyed these cards. They were a lot of fun to make. And I will be back on August 11th. Gosh, that sounds so far away, doesn't it? I'll be back on August 11th with the Facebook Live. You will see stuff coming out on my blog, so make sure you check that out. And I do share that on Facebook also. If there's any questions that I missed, please feel free to ask them again or private message me. My computer is not really keeping up tonight with the Facebook. It's not keeping up the comments coming through. So, um, Sharon Kersey is asking about crystal effects, but I don't know exactly what you're asking. Oh, yeah, crystal effects, we don't have that anymore. That retired several years ago, Sharon. And thank you guys so much for the well wishes for Haley's um, big day on Saturday. I just know that it's going to be a blast. It's going to be very unique. There's a lot of things going down that don't usually happen at weddings, like no wedding cake. We're having a donut wall instead. Um, the Grand March is going to be first thing, not, not at 10 o'clock at night, which is usually the norm here in Wisconsin. I'm not sure about the rest of the country, but a lot of kind of different things happening with this wedding, and I'm really glad that she's taking it and making it her own. Another really neat thing is that our um, my stepdaughter Stephanie got her license to perform marriage ceremonies and she is actually going to be the officiant at Haley's wedding. And so it's going to be really super personal. They're writing their own vows. Stephanie's going to be reading letters from um, each of the parents during the ceremony. And I know that she is going to do just a spectacular job. And it's going to be very, very unique. So can't wait to tell you guys all about it. I'm super excited. And um, watch for pictures. I will be sharing lots and lots of pictures. Um, maybe that night. Maybe not. Maybe not until it's all over with. But I will definitely be taking lots of pictures of all the cool stuff that we've made. All right, you guys, thank you so much. I appreciate you so much. Please don't forget to click on that share button. And I always appreciate your orders. That's what keeps me in business. You guys have yourself a wonderful couple weeks, and I will see you back here on the 11th. Good night.